you too. Welcome back. Hey, um, just want to give you guys a quick update on the Rustler. Um, first things first, um, the battery is working out just fine. Um, I know I was, you know, I expressed my concerns about it a little bit after uh, we had our incident outside. Um, but, you know, I, I charged it, I cycled it, I think three times, three or four times now. And it's holding the charge, it's not ballooning, it's not puffing, it, everything is good. Um, you know, just threw some electrical tape around it and away I went. It's, it, you know, it's holding the charge just fine. Um, if anything, it's lasting longer than, you know, what it was, which, uh, from my, my understanding and research, that's normal with LiPo batteries. You know, I, I don't remember what the, um, uh, cycle count was or whatever, but I guess with like a certain cycle count, um, you actually kind of gain life after, you know, after several, I, I forgot what was like six or 10 cycles, you actually gain a little bit of life. Anyways, enough about that. The battery works just fine. Um, on to <coughs> the car itself. Excuse me. I still got a little bit of that cough left over. Ah, it's so annoying. Um, the car, the, the Rustler, is doing just fine. Um, I did cut a small hole in it here, which goes right over the fan. Um, it do, it's it, it's it's not real real big. I didn't want to make it too big uh, for several reasons. You know, one, I don't want it so big that if it flips or whatever, you know, debris gets in there. I don't want that. Um, I also didn't want to take away any of the integrity, you know, of the actual body, which the body does protect it. You know, when you roll it over, flip it over, and stuff to a certain degree. Um, so. The main reason why I cut the hole in there was because I was out running it the other day and with the warmer weather I noticed that it was it was getting pretty warm. Uh it, it never shut off on me, but I could tell it was it was kind of sputtering just a little bit. And so I brought it in, checked it, and sure enough it was it was pretty hot. The ESC. The ESC was pretty warm, even with the fan going. So I cut that hole in it. I've ran it one other time since I cut the hole. Um, and like I said, it's been pretty warm the last several days. Um, but I did check it after I ran it with a hole in it. Uh, the ESC, of course, was warm, uh, but it wasn't hot like it was before. So hopefully, you know, with that hole, the fan can suck in, you know, more of the outside air and, you know, get that air flowing through there to keep that ESC cool. Um, so moving on, um, the shock caps seem to be working great. Um, I took a couple hard hits, uh, with, with this and, uh, one of them was, you know, a pretty nasty front end hit and nothing, nothing, um, came off, nothing came apart. So I was really happy about that. Now... There is one thing that I want to mention. Sorry about that. I hit the camera with the or hit, hit the tripod with the car. Um, you guys see here, there's like some you know some some residue, uh, and, and all this stuff here too. Uh, I mean, all this stuff here is you know little particles of dirt. But my my main concern is on um, both these shocks. After I rebuilt them, okay. You know, after I got the 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 shock caps, you know, I, I um, and the shock oil, I you know took all four shocks off, took the caps off, you know, uh, poured out the old oil, put the new forty weight oil in there. Anyways, um, I did a pretty good job of cleaning the the shocks off when I was done. Um, you know, for those of you that know, no, those of you that don't know. Um, when you know when you're rebuilding your shocks it's it's kind of a messy process so i made sure that i i, I did a good job of cleaning off the shocks but what i noticed after a ride or two 
I noticed that it looks like something's leaking somewhere. Um, I noticed it more kind of on the bottom than on the top. But I've ran this now several, well, I don't want to say several times, maybe three times. And I don't know, it's, it looks like there's, you know, oil leaking from somewhere. Um, I haven't taken them apart. And it, and it looks like it's just on the fronts. The backs, I mean, there's a little bit of residue on, on the bottom there. But for the most part, the backs look fine. Um, but anyways, I haven't, I haven't taken them apart yet. Um, I know that, uh, one of the recommendations was to take them apart and check for cracks. I haven't done that yet. Um, I plan on doing that to see, uh, but I just want to give you guys a quick little update. You know, that's really, that, that's, that's really it. Uh, the shot cap, like I said, they haven't popped off. Like I said, I'm a little puzzled as to why there's still oil coming out. Um, you know, cause like I said, they were, they were, they were dry. Um, so I don't know. I'll take them apart, see if they're cracked, uh, and just kind of go from there. Uh, the Anaconda tires are doing good. I do want to get a set of primes for it though as well and just kind of compare the two. Um, I don't know. Uh, the Primes are an all street tire. Um, but I think they're a little bit softer than these. So, a little more grippy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I don't know. I'll, I'll try those out too. I plan on getting a pair of those. Like I said, when I got the Anacondas, I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to go with the Primes or the Anacondas. I ended up going with the Anacondas. Because that was pretty much the popularity consent, uh, or census rather, popularity census. Anyways, majority majority ruled. Uh, so that's how I went with the anacondas. I like them. I had I have no complaints about them at all. Um, like I said, they've actually held up fairly fairly good. Uh, I was I was a little concerned in, in the beginning because I was seemed like I was wearing them very quickly. Uh, I mean, obviously not as quick as stock tires. Those things, man, you do like three, four spins. Those things are done. But with these here, I mean, there's still quite a bit of tread on them. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Just want to give you a quick little update of the Traxxas uh, Rustler. Let you know what's going on with it. Uh, um, should be some running videos coming up very, very soon. I uh, hope I get AJ and possibly even Justin out there rolling around. So, anyways, guys, until next time, as usual, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, and, you know, as usual, until next time, see ya.